Trader from the Florida Sea Me. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders exclusive comment here today, September 1st, first day of the month. A uh, lot of volatility. How do you play the volatility? It doesn't matter if you're trading indexes or crude oil or gold, silver, grains. I like to focus on the grains and also on the cattle. Uh, in markets like this, you have to have a plan first. You've got to make sure that you're picking your spots. And you've got to make sure the third thing, that you know how much you're going to risk on every uh, decision you make. You've got to keep your stops tight because when the markets whip around like this, that's the only thing that's going to save you from having really drastic equity swings. So those three things, uh, doesn't matter if you've been trading for two weeks or for 30 years, you've got to have a plan when these markets are volatile. Now, that being said, let's focus on what's going on. In the grains, the grains have been moving in, in sympathy with the, the stock market swings and the crude oil swings. I wanted to talk real quick about November beans. Uh, currently, the, the funds are long, about 5,000 contracts of beans, not a big long position. A week from Friday, we've got another uh, USDA report. That report could change the yields that the USDA came out with, and they may change the carryout. That's what sent us into a tailspin on the last USDA report was the gigantic carryout that a lot of people uh, had not expected, 170 million extra bu bushels of soybeans. Uh, so look at that. Look at those key levels again in November beans. We've been trading in about a 15 cent trading range since we went down and tested that contract low, 855. Uh, you know, so we could see this 25 to 45 cent trading range. Doesn't like getting above $9. Doesn't like going below about 860, 870. And we probably gonna see that between now and again, the report is September 11th, a week from Friday. Uh, secondly, what's going on with the, with the corn? Uh, corn, the funds are long, about 70, 75,000 contracts of corn. Again, they're waiting for the USDA report. Uh, if they don't get confirmation of something bullish, if they have to get out of that position or flip, that could be uh, 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 detrimental if you're bullish. If you're bullish without a pl an exit plan, that's the problem. So if you're a producer and you haven't hedged, you need to hedge. If you're a bull and are long, you have to know what are you gonna do if December corn takes out 355? Uh, because when these markets whip like they do, if you don't have the plan in place beforehand, you're opening yourself up to unlimited losses, potentially. And then finally, what's going on with the wheat? The world is awash with wheat. The US keeps losing, uh, uh, exports to uh, the Black Sea. The Black Sea wheat is 50 bucks, 47 to 50 bucks a ton cheaper. So every time Tunisia or Egypt comes in, uh, they're uh, they're eating in the supplies, but they're not coming for our supplies. So that's that's a problem. Wheat is the weakest sister of all three of the grains, and and we have been dancing around this contract low. If you look at December wheat, um, you know the key level there. I think if uh, this 475, 470 six level if that was to fail you may see some new shorts coming in the funds are already short 20,000 contracts a week so in between now and september 11th it's giving you an opportunity to get uh, your hedges set or if you want to speculate it gives you a chance to speculate but again you've got to have a plan beforehand because when the markets are whipping around uh you if you're wrong you're opening yourself up to a lot of problem if you're right it's great because the markets will, will reward you. So that's about it. Make sure you've got a plan. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, work with somebody that's got some experience to at least help you uh, navigate through these volatile markets. This is Chris Robinson. Have a great day.